Valentine's Day is just a few weeks away, but it's never too early to start thinking about the perfect gift. I hope my husband's listening. Shopping Local offers some unique options, and some are right in the heart of downtown Pittsburgh. Here with some unique floral ideas are Christy Gartner, the manager and designer at Wallace Floral, and Jeremy Waldrop, the president and CEO of the Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership. Good morning. Good morning. So the holiday season is over, but we still have this big holiday coming up to kind of get us through the know. winter months, right? Yeah, we're ready to get folks thinking about this now you know it's still a little early but Is it's it never really? too early to plan I know you got to get those dinner reservations in dinner reservations you are already. you need to do it now <laughs> right, like, right. get on open table <laughs> put in downtown Pittsburgh <laughs> right. there's going to be about 55 fantastic restaurants that are going to have incredible dinners for you so go ahead and do that now yeah and then start thinking about your gifts so let's talk about some of the unique places that you can go downtown because obviously the Clark building the Clark building if you don't know this we have over 15 jewelry designers in the Clark Building. So if you can't find what you want in their store, you could probably get them to still make it for you. I had Fantastic. a band made for my wife once. It is absolutely beautiful at prices that are so much better than you're going to find in the mall. At like the big box chain stores. Correct. Um, and what else? Chocolatiers, obviously. Simple sweets. Is a big thing. Oh, you know, who doesn't love some chocolate covered strawberries? Oh. I like chocolate covered cherries myself. I like but chocolate covered way, just about anything. Anything, right? <laughs> Except crickets. That's not my thing. But, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. But there are some great places downtown for that as well. Most definitely, yeah. And you can't forget clothes. We have plenty of boutiques, um, all price points. So get to thinking about that. But of course, we're here flowers. to talk about flowers. Yeah. So how long have you guys been in business? Um, seven years downtown. Uh, third generation, we have another store up in Mount Washington. I was going to say, I know uh -huh. that you guys are on Virginia, right? Yeah, Virginia Avenue. Mm -hmm. And so you brought some floral arrangements with uh, yes. uh, with you today. So tell us what you have here, what kind of offerings you have. Um, well, the roses, of course, the red roses, um, which is always a hit. Right. Right. Can't go wrong with that. And then that. we have an arrangement of Gerber daisies, all mixed colors. You could go something different besides roses. Mm -hmm. And then little, little or sweetheart roses, garden roses is always nice. And then a mixture with your heather and stuff. And then over there in, in the front is just a mixture of flowers, uh, just like your standard, typical, uh, cheaper side uh, floral arrangement. You know, I don't think that I've ever seen heather. I know oh, that yeah. the, it's my name, yeah, means this flower, but is, I've yeah, never this seen is, it. There so. you go. Very neat. <laughs> so what do you guys, um, what makes you stand out aside from some of the big box places? I mean, a, a lot of people head there because it's easy, but it's right. so nice when you really can go in somewhere and, and shop. I think um, we do the personal, we get to know our client better, um, get a one-on-one -on -one basis with them is always nice, and to get a feel of what they like. And I think people would be surprised, too, at how affordable affordable it is to kind of create your own right yeah um they have pictures of a lot of stuff of places and and it's hard to do somebody else's work because the pictures that they show on the web are typical mm -hmm. standard you know but i like to create my own you know because it's it's more personable that way right and um i think that uh if if you do your own people come back and enjoy that better right especially if you know too what somebody likes maybe right. they do like Gerber, Gerber daisies and they like a specific color right. you can custom that right and i thought this was so fascinating we already have to start thinking about wedding season yes you of said, course get your orders in yeah of course valentine's day a lot of people seem to get engaged yeah. So um, then it goes into the wedding season. So we just brought some, uh, just a standard, typical, more traditional, the white flowers, mm -hmm. and they're doing more of the bling with the crystals. And uh, you can see on the handle, they like the rhinestones as well, a lot of with bling and, and stuff. Beautiful. And, you know, they. I love this too. What is this? This green. That's called trichelium. It's mm -hmm. it's different. It's. Uh, just a different green, something out of the ordinary. It really adds a nice little pop there. I love mm -hmm. all the bling, as you were pointing out, too. So what is it like to be in downtown? You guys have been there less than a decade. So what is the vibe like? It's exciting. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of walk-through business. Mm -hmm. They come in. They'll grab their bouquets. We do rose specials, um, you know, made-to-order kind of stuff. Um, most, mainly, it's kind of grab-and-go, okay. you know, so they can walk in and take it and go with very, very nice. And any any advice out there for people that typically wait until the last minute? Do you guys have roses <laughs> until Valentine's Day? I, I never wait. Uh, last minute kind of thing is, it you know the product you don't have the product you right. know when you want. So order early, 
because if you order early, then you can get what you want. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, good stuff. Anything big happening in downtown coming up? Well, we have some public art that we're going to be announcing uh, right after Valentine's Day. Right. So that'll be in Market Square. And then, of course, we are just enjoying some really good food. The Cultural District's still pumping, as you just heard with right. the PSO. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the theaters are going to be... Um, just having some incredible art all season long. So, and of course, Restaurant Week is going on. A lot it's of restaurants now. downtown. Yes. Kidding. Well, thank you guys for being here this morning. And you can visit Wallace Floral in Fifth Avenue Place downtown. They're located right on the first floor. We'll have a link to their website posted for you at kdk.com/ptl.